Hey y'all, let's take a look at what's called advanced substitution. Okay, we've done substitution before, right? That's not that big of a deal. Now look at this, copy down this equation here. Pause it if you need to. All right, most of the time when we saw an equation like this, and they go, solve this whatever way you want, you know, graphing, substitution, and elimination, we would all look at this and go, blech. There's no easy way to substitute this. I'm just going to eliminate, you know, get rid of the y's by multiplying the top by three and the bottom by two or whatever. You got it. You're out of there. Okay. This time they want you because, you know, Saxon math, they might seem like they're kind of like hard nosed and kind of cruel, but really, if you look inside, they're really, uh, really maniacs. They, they want to cause as much absolute trouble as possible to your soul. And this is one way. No, this is, yeah, we're going to use substitution to solve this. And we're just going to pretend like that's the only way and use the hardest way. So let's just, for example, and again, you can do this however way you want to substitute. Substitute for the top X, the bottom X, the top Y, the bottom Y. I'm just going to, just for the heck of it, I'm going to do the top X just because it's the first thing I see. And what we'll do is we'll take this equation right over here. And we'll just, we're just going to go, you know, let me just go down here. All right, I'll take the 3x and I'll get that by itself, which means I have negative 3 minus a 2y, right? Okay, so to get x by itself, of course, you divide by 3. So this is our x right there, all right? There we go. So that's my x. So I'm going to take the x and take, not that one, I'm going to take this equation, okay? 4x minus 3y equals 13, and I'm going to plot that into the x right there. It'll be loads of fun. Okay, so I got four times, and let's do it. Negative three minus two y over three. Okay, and then minus three y equals 13. Okay, now this is a real hoot. Okay, so four times negative three, negative 12. Okay, uh, and that'll be, let's see here, four times negative two y is negative eight y. And all this jazz is over 3. Minus 3y is equal to 13. Okay, well, you know what's going to have to happen, right? We're going to have to take this thing now and multiply the entire thing by 3. All right, everything all the way across to clean up this junk. Okay, so the nice thing about this is, is that this one just cleans up totally. So you just get a negative 12 minus an 8y. This one, of course, becomes negative 9y. This one becomes 3 times 13 or 39. Okay, now it's not too bad. We got negative 8y minus 9y, that's negative 17y. Okay, this on a, over there, negative 12 goes over there and it gets added to 39, which gives us 51. And, you know, negative 17 does happen to go exactly into 51, and the answer is negative 3, so that's my y. Okay, and almost always they will give you good integer answers if they're torturing you enough to make these you know, long problems or whatever. So, okay, well, since, uh, you know, y is uh, negative 3, let's just, uh, I don't know, let's try, we'll go back to, we'll go back to any one of these equations will work, should work. So, uh, so y is negative 3, so we'll go 3 times x plus 2 times y, let's just go ahead and make it a negative 6, equals negative 3. All right, so that goes over there that becomes 3x is 3 and we have x is equal to 1 and everybody's happy okay all right we'll try one more of these and uh you know what if you're game um go ahead and pause it and try this yourself but you probably will not try the same thing i will try but i tell you what, here's what we'll do let's go ahead and solve for the y up top in other words let's, let's solve for you know negative three y equals this and then solve for the y and then put that into the other equation. So we'll do that first. If you want to follow along, that's okay. If you want to track yourself, feel free to go ahead and do that. All right, so let's get the y by itself. So I'll have a negative three y is equal to, we'll call it nine minus five x. And of course, we're gonna divide by negative three and by negative three. And there you go, and that's what we got. That's my y. Okay, well, let's go ahead and take this baby right up there. And I have 2x minus 4 times yeesh, y, which is 9 minus 5x over negative 3. Yo, give me a break. Okay. All right. 
and that's going to equal negative 2. Okay. Well, nothing we can do but go right through it. Okay, so 2x, and then we have negative 4 times 9 is negative 36, and plus 20x over negative 3 equals negative 2. Okay, I think I got that right. All right, so we know we're going to have to multiply by negative 3. All the way across. Happy, happy day. Okay. So if we go negative 3 times 2x, that's negative 6x. And negative 3 over negative 3 is just going to be 1. We're multiplying by 1, so we just keep what's on the top there. And then negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. Okay, well, that's not too bad. All right, so let's give it a whirl here. Um, we have negative 6x, and we have a positive 20x, that gives us 14x. This goes over here, 36 plus 6 is equal to 42, and 14 times 3 is 42. There we go. Okay, if x is 3. Okay, so we can go either one of these if you want. Let's just go back to the top one here. 5 times x, I'm going to yoink this down here, that's 15, minus 3y is equal to 9, so negative 3y is equal to 9 minus 15. Well, my 9 minus 15 is negative 6. So y is equal to 2. There we go. Okay. Man, I love elimination a lot more than that. But it's good brain exercise for you. Okay. All right. Uh, give the uh, practice problem a whirl. And you can do it however you want. You know what? Uh, why don't we just go? Let's go to the bottom one just for the heck of it. Go to the bottom one. Oh, by the way, look at the bottom one. It's divisible by 2. The whole thing is divisible by 2. I would not do that the way it is. I would just go, you know what, let's do this. If we divide the whole one by two, that would be x. I'm just going to come with me here. It would be 1x, right, or just x, minus 2y equals negative 3, correct? So x minus 2y equals negative 3. You just plop the minus over there. It's, it's too easy. I hate to say this. It's too easy. So let's solve for the x at top, unless you have another way you want to do this. That's fine. So let's get the 3x by itself, and then once we get that, we'll put that down in the bottom equation. So let's solve for 3x first, or just x, of course, then we'll do it next. Okay, so you can pause it or follow along, whatever. Okay, well, let's do it here. So we got 3x, let's move it over there. So 3x is equal to 11 plus 5y, and of course, if you divide by 3, this is going to be your value for x. So 11 plus 5y over all right, so let's take this one and go 2 times x. Oh, joy. 11 plus 5y over 3 minus 4y equals negative 6. Okay. Yeesh. What a nightmare. Okay, so we got 22 plus 10y all over 3. Minus 4y equals negative 6. Okay, we're going to multiply this whole thing by 3 to clean up. So we got 22 plus 10y uh, minus 12y now equals 3 times negative 6. Okay, here we go. So we got this hunk right there. 10y minus 12y, that's negative 2y. And we're going to go <whistles> over there. We got negative what? We got negative 18 minus 22. Are you kidding me? That's negative 40. You're correct. That's crazy. Anyway, okay, so y is 20. We'll see if we did this right. I shouldn't say we. We did this right. We'll see if you did this right. Okay. All right. Well, y is 20. And did I do that right? X is that and y is 20. Okay. Well, I'll just put this back in this one here. How about that? Y is 20. I say y is 20. That is to say you say y is 20. So 3x minus 5y, that's minus 5 times 20, that's minus 100, equals 11. Good gravy. 3x equals 111. x is 37. No way. Is that going to work? All right. Hmm. Let's try it and see what we get. Okay. All right. So we say x is 37 and y is 20. Well, let's just try it. 3 times x, 111, minus 100 is 11. Of course, we know that's what, well, that's what we used a minute ago. All right, let's try a different color to throw things up a little bit. Okay. All right, let's try the second equation and see if this works. So 2 times x is 74. 
right? 37 times 2. Minus 4 times y. Well, minus 4 times 20 is minus 80. Does that equal negative 6? Well, I'll be doggone. Excuse my language. It does work. We got it right. That is to say, I got it right. Okay. All right. See you guys next time.